Good morning, this is Julian with United Country Lifestyle Properties in Maine. Today, you're joining me on a property tour in China, Maine of 37 Vassal Borough Road. This is a mobile home that was made in 2017. The sellers purchased the property in 2010, got rid of the original mobile home and then put this thing on in 2017. We have a brand new well put in 2020. Uh, the septic was put in 2013 along with the leach field. The interior is brand new, very well kept. The property itself sits right on Vassalboro Road with 255 feet of road frontage. We've got just over an acre of pretty much all grass, very beautiful yard. And our neighbor over here actually has a private golf course. And we'll show you that a little sneak peek here in a moment. But why don't you join me on this tour? Uh, right now we're gonna hit the front of the backyard and get a bit of an aerial view of the property. Walk with me. Right now we're standing on the top of the backyard and we've got a little bit of a view of the neighbor's private golf course he's got in the back, very well maintained. And then if we pan over here, we've got the back view of the house. Here's your one car garage, plenty of room in there to also fit maybe a workspace, um, a work table, something to keep your tools in. And then you've also got the view of the house, but walk with me down this backyard. We're about to enter the house, do an interior tour and then I'll also show you the garage. So this is the, actually the back door. There is a front door to the property, but it's not the one that the sellers have been using. This is the back door that leads directly into the kitchen. So follow me inside, we'll show you the kitchen and directly off of it, the living room. So all the appliances you see here in the kitchen come with the property. Everything, like I said, originally is uh, built in 2017 when the sellers purchased the mobile home. Right off from the kitchen, we have what could be used as a living room or a little makeshift mudroom if you want to use the front door as your main access. We've got a space here that does not have carpet on it, so you could put a mat down uh, to keep any dirty shoes from hitting the carpet. And then walk with me over here and we'll start seeing some of the bedrooms. Right here to my right is the smallest bedroom out of the three. Each bedroom is outfitted with a closet and smoke detectors, all functioning prep to move in today. This is bedroom number two. We've got storage shelves that have been installed on the wall. Again, each bedroom's outfitted with smoke detectors and another closet that has storage shelves in there and hooks already installed as well. This bathroom is directly off of the first two bedrooms that we've seen, the smallest one and the guest bedroom. Both bathrooms are full baths, and now we'll head over and check out the master bedroom and bathroom. This is a little laundry slash mudroom section. We have a washer and dryer hookup prep to go, and then a storage shelf up top to keep your detergents, shoes, maybe hang some coats off of if you've got space. Here is our master bedroom. Directly off of it, we have a bathroom. But the favorite part about this is that you have a direct view of your pretty massive front yard. There's already hooks installed on the walls, along with a bit of a fancier bedroom shelf. If you have your uh, bed directly here, you can put lamps on top. And then there is a hookup right here if you wanna have a bit of a nicer curtain to cover off the windows. And on this side, we have a closet that's a little bit bigger than the other two bedrooms. Already a shelf installed and your access to the panel for the entire property is right here, 100 amps for the house. Now let's take a peek at the master bathroom and then we'll look at the garage. Here is our master bathroom. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, directly off of the master, and then again, here's the kitchen. But why don't you follow me over to the garage? We can take a peek at that. And then there's even a little storage unit in the back of the property, which can be removed if the buyers request it in the offer. The sellers are happy to remove it. But if you'd like to keep it, store all your stuff in, if you move it from out of state and you have a lot of uh, material coming with you, you're more than happy to keep it on the property and store in there. But why don't you follow me into the garage? Here we are in the garage. This is a one car garage, 
but you've got space on the side to store if you have a motorcycle or something like that, you keep it on the side. Currently, there is shelving prep to be installed over here. So if this is something you want to keep, you can put it in the offer stating that you want to keep these shelves and you can really outfit this to have something like this, a workbench um, prep to go. But it's pretty straightforward. All of this material right here will be removed upon closing or prior to closing. Um, so you'll have extra space in the back. But now let's take a peek at the storage unit. This is the storage unit. Currently our sellers have some of their stuff in it, um, but this will obviously be gone by the time of closing. So again, if you want it off the property, just request it. Sellers are more than happy to remove it. But if you have a lot of stuff coming in and you don't want to buy a storage unit, you've got one right here that's tucked away in the back. It's not in the way of anything on the property and you can keep all your stuff right next door. And we've actually got Lake St. George nearby, which is a stunning lake with camping directly on top of it and a little bit of a public beach. Follow me. Thank you for joining me on this tour of 37 Vassalboro Road here in China, Maine. The price of this property is $165,000 and the taxes on this property are $622. Uh, have a nice day. Subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications so you see every time we list a new property. Thank you. This has been Julian with United Country Lifestyle Properties of Maine.